Are you going to supersize your business through hell and high water? Sharon Hornell's from here, and our idiom, our expression today is through hell and high water. I personally like this expression. I've, uh, I've definitely used this one. Not a lot, but I use it sparingly and on occasion when it's appropriate for drama and effect, right? Mostly for effect and for emphasis on, on our willingness to be determined and figure things out. Uh, there's always a way to do anything we want to do if we believe it's possible and we're willing to be open-minded and search for solutions. This idiom, of course, originated in America and it first appeared in 1882, actually May of 1882, in an Iowa newspaper by the name of the Burlington Weekly Hawkeye. Now, these have really cool names for newspapers, right? It's an informal saying, of course, because it's got hell in it. And it's used to basically emphasize that something's going to happen no matter what. We're going to get the result we want, no matter what we have to do to get it. Hopefully, it's legal, moral, and ethical. Uh, and it usually is. And this reminds me of pretty much everybody that's ever had to to do anything that's hard or difficult or challenging, right? We overcome challenges and things because we are committed to figuring things out. I'm more likely to say, <clears throat> we're going to figure this out no matter what than I am to say come hell or high water. Or I say come hell or high water more often than through hell or high water. But it basically means that we are going to stick to our word. We're going to do what we said we are going to do. Even if we're tortured, we'd rather be tortured than break our vow or break our trust or or not do what we say we're going to do. One of the the most important things that I've learned about being in corporate America as well as running my own businesses is that you have to commit not only to other people to do what you say you're going to do, but to yourself. Uh, so often people let themselves off the hook. They say they're going to do something, then they they come up with all the reasons they, they didn't do it and they make excuses. And when we do that, other people might not ever know about it, but it chips away at who we are and our commitment to ourselves. So I say, be honest to yourself, be honest to other people, and always over deliver and under promise. That's, that's another business lesson I've learned over the years that is huge when it comes to growing and building and supersizing our business. Anyone who made it through the pandemic, raise your hands, uh, has had to go through hell and high water, in my opinion, uh, because it was such a change, such a global change for all of us and all of our businesses. So if you survived that, you can say absolutely, yes, I am willing to go through hell and high water to keep my business going and keep my business growing. All right. Love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? If it's known, of course, because it seems like this year we've run into a lot that the origins are fuzzy or believed to be. I always think that in this day and age of technology, we should have more information at our fingertips. We have more information at our fingertips, but it's not necessarily accurate information. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.